Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 best drift cars, uh, in my opinion anyway, that are actually on Forza Horizon 5 right now. Uh, now this is, video actually does exclude all the pre-made drift cars, so like um, Formula Drift, Hoonigan, uh, and anything that's already pre-made. Uh, so this is just like normal cars, technically, or like JDM Classics, or whatever you want to uh, count it as. Let's get straight into the video and I hope you guys will actually enjoy. Now first up, in place number 5, I've actually got the um, 240SX. Uh, as you can see right here, it's pretty um, cheap to obviously buy as well and it is a pretty decent drift car now it all just come down to personal choice as well uh, like i was saying and it all comes down to how your uh, throttle control is and how you actually drift as an actual driver on forza uh, so a lot of these cars or order of these cars actually come down to preference and um, but personally this is number five for me just because it's more of like a speed drift so it's for them longer holdout drifts rather than the sharp corners and like where you're aiming for angles and stuff as you can see in the video uh, now if you actually do download this yourself you'll actually see what I mean by um, or feel what I mean when you actually do drive this uh, vehicle you'll see that it's built more for like speed and uh, longer drifts like I say. Uh, but yeah so that's the Nissan 240SX and as you can just see on the drift run here uh, we do actually get quite a lot of points at around 190 and um, the share code or tune code or whatever you want to call it is actually on the uh, screen right now. Now next up in place number 4 we actually do have the new Toyota Supra uh, MK5 as you can see right here. Now in the gameplay you should be able to see that this, this car is a quite a good drifter. Uh, now in some people's opinions this might even be a number 1 for them. Um, as you can get the good angles of this vehicle while maintaining the speed around the corners as well. Uh, but this is just number 4 in my personal preference just because it's more of like a longer drift rather than them sharp turns when you do need it um, but you can rack up a good amount of points when using this vehicle on the different drift runs or drift zones you are trying to do uh, with this tune and personally it is probably one of my favourites as well that's why it's in the top 5 uh, and like I say it's an overall decent car to obviously use um, and it can obviously grip as well it, is, it does have a decent top end but obviously when you are drifting you're not aiming for your top end but that's if you're looking for an overall car as well in general um, but like I say, as you can see here at the end, the total points has actually rack up to quite a lot. Um, so it might be number one in your personal preference, but for me this is number four. And the share code is actually on the screen in just a couple of seconds now. As you can see, that's a share code. Now next up in place number three, we do actually have the AE86. Uh, now for some people, this might be a rough one to obviously get, as it is classed as a rare car right now, and you can only obtain them from wheel, uh, for wheel, wheel spins. So... They are quite expensive to get through the auction house, but if you can actually get hold of one of these, it is a really decent drift car as well. And it's probably quite a lot of people's favourites out there, um, as it is a JDM Classic, which basically started it all as well. So it's always like the background to it if you are looking for a, a nice drift car to use, really. And I do believe you can actually unlock this through the accolades as well. Um, I think that's how I actually did obtain this vehicle. But if you haven't got this and you don't have the money to obviously buy one, the next season this will actually come out for free to actually do the seasonal events and get the right amount of points so it's always there as an option if you are aiming to get this vehicle as it is a pretty decent drift car as well with this tune and yeah as you can see the points are pretty decent i do get at the end of this as well they're not the best compared to all of them but it is a still a pretty, a pretty decent car and uh, this is the share code on screen just right now Now next up in place number 2 we actually do have the Mazda Miata, uh, now a lot of people might be surprised by this if you did actually play Forza Horizon 4 and 3 and did use this vehicle, it didn't used to be the best at drifting, um, but as you can see in the gameplay just right now, uh, with this tune this drift car is absolutely insane, it's personally one of my favourites, if not my favourite to obviously use. Uh, now each of these runs you are seeing right now is only a one run on each one, so the points that I'm getting in these videos can obviously be maximized uh, by a lot more than what they are in the video as well so i wouldn't base this off the amount of points i am i am getting uh through the video as it is different vehicles each time and they all are going to handle different the throttle control is different for everything as well so it is going to be just a, a rough based idea if you are going off the points um, but yeah so as you can see this mazda miata does rack up a fairly decent amount of points as well at the end of this and like i say it's just a really fun little car to use and it just drifts around pretty pretty much every corner at a decent angle and as you can see this is a share code right now and i would highly recommend you to actually just give this uh, one a try next up in first place do actually have the nissan skyline r33 and this car is just absolutely amazing it's so easy to drive and handle if you are a beginner drifter as well and you are just getting 
news drifting and you don't want to uh, use the formula drift cars or you can't access them because they're too much money or for whatever reason i would highly recommend you do download this tune for the r33 as it's just absolutely amazing it handles perfectly around the corners um, it is kind of hard to spin out as well using this vehicle as long as you can master obviously the throttle control and personally for me it just flows around the corners and just feels like a perfect car to obviously use uh, for drifting and it does master pretty much every drift zone I managed to go into uh, after practicing a few tries obviously like I say this is the first attempt I actually did have using this vehicle now if you are aiming to obviously rack up points another one I could highly recommend is the BMW um, i setter uh, as that just flashes through the skill points as you can get insane angles on that but it is kind of hard to maintain the angle without spinning out using them uh, but the share code for the Nissan Skyline R33 is on the screen right now and that's it for today, so thank you for watching, if you could like and subscribe, I hope you did actually enjoy, and if you do actually have any um, content you would like to see, like a top 5 of let's say best off-roaders, just make sure to comment down below and I'll try and get as many videos out there as possible for you guys to watch, um, and I'll try and get as much tunes uploaded for you guys to use as well, um, as I do spend quite a lot of time tuning these vehicles for you guys to use just so you can get the best experience out of the game as well if you're new to tuning or you don't know how to tune your vehicles yourself or you just want a quick and easy way just to have fun in the game you can just go ahead and download my tunes and it should help you out quite a lot well thank you for watching if you could like and subscribe